Hey guys, Greg here from Lens Pro to Go. Today I'm gonna to cover the basics on how to handle super telephoto lenses. Just because these lenses are big, it doesn't mean they have to be intimidating. Just about anyone can use a lens like this and get an amazing image. Here's what you'll need to know if it's your first time using big lenses like these, and also what you can expect when you rent a super telephoto lens from us. It all starts with the included Tenba Long Lens Case. It's got a dual closure design. There's a quick release buckle and a more secure zipper closure. We prefer to ship our super telephoto lenses in these cases instead of the hard trunk style cases Canon and Nikon provide. Why? Convenience. The Tenba cases are incredibly well padded and have provided a much softer cushioned area for the lens during transit. The other reason we love the Tenba cases is that they're much more convenient to carry around in the field. They've got a wide padded shoulder strap, which sure beats the tiny awkward handles on the trunk cases. Not to mention, there's room for a gimbal head, teleconverters, and your camera body, so you're not burdened with multiple bags. Now that we've covered the case, let's go over the basics of how to handle a super telephoto lens. The first step is to figure out where you're gonna mount your lens, so we'll wanna make sure that you've set up your monopod or your tripod first. Attach your head to your tripod. We recommend either a ball head or a gimbal head for most shoots. If you're on a monopod, we like having a tilt-only head for keeping the monopod stable when you have to tilt up or down but you can also screw directly into the lens foot. All of our photo tripod heads use the standard 3.8 stud, so they're interchangeable. To screw them together, find the pan lock control and tighten that down, and then screw the head onto the legs, making sure you take care when you're mounting. You always wanna make sure that the head and legs are flat when screwing them together, so you don't cross-thread the connection, damaging the tripod and the head. The next feature you wanna be aware of is the Arca Swiss style mount, sometimes called a dovetail plate. Arca Swiss is pretty much the standard when it comes to lenses like these. We make it easy with our lenses as the dovetail is built right into the lens foot. No bulky plates to juggle or lose. We use the lens foot replacements from Really Right Stuff. They are the best in the business when it comes to long lens support. The biggest benefit of Arca Swiss plates is that they give very solid and stable connection. Plus, they allow you to slide the lens back and forth in the mount, and that lets you achieve a better balance. Speaking of balance, let's look at how you balance a gimbal head. The beauty of these heads is that they make the lens very easy to maneuver. The touch of a finger is all you need to move one around when it's correctly set up. The first step is balancing the lens fore aft on the mount. You want to slide the lens backwards and forwards in the clamp until the lens is balanced. Make sure you keep your hands on the lens so that it doesn't fall off. The second adjustment is the vertical balance. You want the lens to be slightly bottom heavy. You can do this by eyeballing the center of the lens and lining up the pivot point of the gimbal with that mark. The reason it's important to have the lens bottom heavy is so that the lens won't tip over and slam into the legs. The number one rule when using a super telephoto lens actually has to deal with protecting your camera. The trick is that you always handle the lens, not your camera. Even with the new lighter designs, these super telephotos are still large and can exert tremendous force on your lens mount. This even applies to pro bodies. The amount of leverage that you can put on your lens mount, even just by trying to lift the camera up to your face, can be enough to bend your lens mount. You may not even notice the damage to your camera until it's too late because a bent mount is pretty much game over for sharp photos, not to mention a very expensive repair. Again, always handle your camera by the lens. The best way to think of this is that your camera is just a little attachment on the back of this huge piece of glass. You wanna mount the lens to the gimbal or ball head first and then mount your camera. Just match up the dots on your camera to the lens and give it a twist. And that's about it. You're ready to get out into the field and start shooting. In a later video, we'll cover what all the switches are on the side of the lens and the proper shooting techniques for getting sharp images. If you'd like to check out our rental lineup of Super Telephoto lenses, follow the link above. If you have any questions on choosing the right gear, give one of our experienced experts a call or shoot us an email at service at lensprotogo.com. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.